Hey YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with a review of the Lumen Top SD20. Comes with that spare O-ring, a lanyard, and a belt holster. Right, this has a Velcro belt loop, a D-ring, and it has a Velcro overflap. And a closer look at the light itself. So you see where that lanyard attaches to that ring there. And the tail cap is flat, so you can tail stand this like a candle. Right, there's the reflector and emitter. It's all controlled by this side switch. Long press to turn it on. And just subsequent presses will go through low, medium, and high to 900 lumens. Yeah, it's pretty bright and you can see it'll have good range. Strobe warning. Just double tap the side switch and you get the strobe. Tap it again and long press to turn the light off again. Now to install the battery, you just unscrew that tail cap, right? It takes one 18650 lithium ion battery, and mine came with a battery, a very high capacity, high quality battery. Okay, here is a beam profile in the dark for you, and you can see the flood and the throw. You know, the throw is the highway of light down the center, and then to the sides of that at the angles is going to be the flood effect. So 900 lumens is pretty decent. Okay, and some outside demonstration footage. So I took this out uh, hiking around this kind of, well, it's like a lake, kind of a swamp with some trails around it. But you can see, all right, let's go for a little bit of a walk. All right, and as I'm walking down the trail, I mean, you can see, be pretty handy as a hiking or just a general outdoorsy light, a camping light. You know, it's not really a tactical light or an EDC light. Lumentop actually has uh, several other models that cover those. This is, I would say it's just a general purpose outdoors light. It's streamlined, but it's doing a real good job uh, lighting up the trail and all the vegetation around it. Okay, I found something cool later, you know, in this epic uh, flashlight testing hike. Right, that's the edge of the lake, kind of a... Well, it's kind of a swampy, marshy area. And you see them? There's two of them. Do you see those? Now, I believe those are tadpoles. I believe those are very large tadpoles. But I could be completely wrong. I don't know. It could be some type of fish, but I'm pretty sure it's a tadpole. All right. I, I'm not an expert on aquatic life, but judging by the number of full-grown frogs that I've encountered in my area, they gotta come from somewhere. But this light is doing an excellent job at lighting up those murky waters, you know? Now, if I was Bear Grylls, I would just reach right in and just bite that thing's head off and laugh and jump off a waterfall, but I'm not, so I'm just going to leave them. They don't look disturbed, I don't know. Can tadpoles see light? They don't, they're just ignoring it. All right, goodbye tadpoles. And back home again. Now I'm going to shine it down to the edge of the street at that bush over there. All right, so from that perspective, I mean, this has pretty decent range for, you know, at backyard distances. I felt it was more than strong enough uh, for the hiking purposes. All right, here we are on the testing board. That is the brightest mode, 900. Now cycling through. Right, and strobe warning, I will strobe you coming up. And there is the strobe. All right, so pretty bright. Pretty bright on the testing board. Longer range shots for you. This is uh, me perched up in the second story window. You see that white moth attack me? Okay, that is my cutting stand, as well as uh, my throwing knife target, which is also my uh, beam shot target. Can even reach almost to those chairs moving it around. So this has pretty decent range. It's going to have more range than a small EDC light, but not as much range as a tactical light such as the Lumen Top TD-16. And we are back with final thoughts on this SD-20. Well, I love the mode cycle. It's very simple and it's all that I need. You know, low, medium, and high, and then a strobe. That's all that I need. I don't need anything else but that. Also, the low mode is very low, which is good. I like the low mode to be really low just for reading. 
reading things close up, that's all I would use the low mode for. I also love that it came with a good battery, all right? And the side switch, I like how much it protrudes from the light because it's very easy to find in the dark by touch, but it's also rubbery enough that it's not going to accidentally turn on, especially since it takes a long press to turn on the light. Okay, so I will include Amazon links as well as the Lumentop website links, uh, which has links to non-US uh, stores that will sell it to you online. Hope you enjoyed seeing this light. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Light.